Uh, and, and QLD is the, is the uh, NASDAQ 100 ETF. It's the two times leverage. So we're looking okay. for roughly a 20% move. We got long last Wednesday at the opening bell. Uh, so we're looking for, which would be a 10% move in the stock index. Interesting. So that's, it's a pretty substantial move. There's a lot of opportunity here. It might only last, you know, a few weeks, but it, it could work itself out over several months and kind of drift itself higher. But there's a lot of opportunity that we want to take advantage of in this uh, down at a, a basing formation. But when we look at this complacency rally area here from the broad stock market, I think we are just about to start this complacency rally in stocks. And I think this is a great opportunity for potential um, uh, trades that, that could last several weeks, several months and grow stocks perform very well during this. Now, it might be the last chance to take advantage of them before we roll over. And I think we're going to enter a much bigger bear market. I think we just scratched the surface of the yeah. damage that could be done. Um, but that's kind of the, the, the high level of where we are kind of uh, in terms of the market. We're seeing growth stocks come back to life and starting to outperform defensive assets. And uh, that is a sign that big money starting to rotate back in and um, there could be something with momentum behind it. Chris, isn't this a very risky trade? If you miss time this complacency rally, you're basically buying uh, at a high and you're just, you know, in for a ride down. <laughs> it's basically what that chart shows. How are right. you? So how are you positioning yourself, um, and how are you? Uh, are, are you basically how, how how are you how are you how are you timing this? Right. So you know, I'm kind of it's kind of confusing. I get it because I'm uh, mixing up kind of long term trends with short term trends. So from the stock market standpoint, right now, it feels like we are right here on this chart, and we're about to start a new rally to the upside. And when the stock market goes up almost all stocks go up. And if the stock market's going up, you generally want to be in the stocks that move up the most. And those happen to be growth stocks. So we are in that phase right now where growth stocks should come back to life for a bounce and a rally here that lasts a few months. And then I think we'll see everything roll over and there, it'll be a whole new game changer going down here. So the reality is the tide is about to go up and it, you know, the tide lifts all boats. So you want to get positioned into the sectors mm -hmm. and the stocks that are going to rise the most and have the most upside potential. And growth stocks are showing signs that they want to lead, they want to take off again. And so okay. this is an opportunity. It's not a buy and hold opportunity by any means. This is a trade. It might last a few weeks. It might last a few months, right. but there's a lot of upside potential. So that's, that's why I'm saying, you know, the broad market's going to bounce. We want to move into the best sectors uh, or the best assets here while, while it's going higher. What's your um, upside target? How much gains are you? How much in gains are you looking to uh, take in before you uh, exit? Yeah, it depends on the place. So, for example, one of the trades that we're in right now is, is QLD, and so we've already pulled some money off at a six percent gain last week. And I think there's potential for about a 15% uh, rally from where we got in. Right. Uh, so th there's there's some pretty good upside. After that, it's going to be a 20% upside target. Uh, and, and QLD is the, is the uh, NASDAQ 100 ETF. It's the two times leverage. So we're looking okay. for roughly a 20% move. We got long last Wednesday at the opening bell. Uh, so we're looking for, which would be a 10% move in the stock index. So that's, it's a pretty substantial move. There's a lot of opportunity here. It might only last, you know, a few weeks, but it could work itself out over several months and kind of drift itself higher. But there's a lot of opportunity that we want to take advantage of in this, uh, in this type of bounce. Okay, I'm going to get into a few, not all, but a few of your specific trades in just a minute. But first, I'm, I, I'm curious to understand your exit strategy. Are you looking to just cap out on a certain percentage of gains and then just take profits and leave it? Or are you looking for maybe signals to reverse that would indicate to you growth stocks are no longer going to do well or are just going to wait it out? How, how are you? What's your exit strategy? Yeah, well, we, we do a kind of a blended approach. So we look at it from a high level. Until you, until you sell. Uh, let's talk about gold finally. Chris, now we're almost at uh, the key psychological resistance level of $1,700. Today, as we're speaking Monday morning, we're at $1,726. And yep. it's just, uh, it's, been a, it's been a steady downtrend. It's been a steady, not a, I wouldn't say roller coaster ride. I would say one of those, like, uh, one of those yeah. carts going down the hill. Um, yep. uh, you know, off the side, off the side of the mountain, you see these uh, scenic things uh, in Switzerland, <laughs> and then you know, if you go on Instagram, you'll see these pe people going on these carts down the side of the hill. That's kind of like what gold's been doing. 
It's not yeah. a, it hasn't been a very dramatic move, but it's just been steadily declining. Is this going to end anytime soon, or uh, what are the charts telling you? Yeah, you look at the chart. I mean, it's it's we've got this blue line across here. This is a very significant support level. Uh, going back in time, I mean, major highs here turned into major lows double bottom, another spike bottom, and we're back at this level. So we're at really strong support. The only thing that gives me a, a little bit of concern is um, te technically when you hit a support level for the first time, you usually get a, a knee jerk reaction bounce a reaction high. So, and that's what we had. And that was also happened to be right off the, the ECB was doing their rate change and created a pop in price. So we need to see if we're going to get some traction, but for, you know, when you look at it, technically, this is support uh, from a long-term investor standpoint. This is a, a level that you know adding adding to your your stack is an opportunity. Um, we're not out of the woods by any means for gold. We need to see it start to make a series of higher highs and higher lows over the next uh, several weeks. If it could just work itself up or build a, a base here, a nice clean base of sideways price action when it pops above that base. That could be the start of a, a new uptrend. Mm -hmm. So I definitely think we're going to see a bounce in um, gold and miners. And if we are going into a true complacency rally for the stock market, uh, gold miners should perform really well. They tend to become a market leader. And right now, they're at the bottom of our, our ban hot list, our best asset now list. They're one of the worst performing sectors, but they could come back to life very quickly and become a leader for you know, two or three months. So we are, you know, right at this amazing tipping point where growth stocks and I think precious metals and miners could take off. The stock market will move higher. Um, uh, and it's going to be a great opportunity for, I think, um, a couple of months here.